Alrighty, what's up guys? So, my name is Jordan. Most people know me as Supernatural001. Um, for those who don't know me, I was the GM of Talisman of Noxus for the past two and a half months. Haven't had time to be an active admin, so I'm um, now making videos to teach people how to get their server online, how to edit things. Uh, past few videos we showed from scratch how to get your server on. Um, we explained all for the majority of we explain 90% of all the files that you will ever edit um, while you're making your server. Today is going to be our first day editing. Um, what we will do is to we use at least amount of time as once at, at once, but to be most accurate and teach the best way, we will be using a fresh client and a fresh uh, game server folder. Um, it's the same ones that I have been sharing that I uploaded. Um, these goes up to MDB and CWC. So what we will do is I will I will do how I did in my server when I wanted to make a new buff. I found a previously existing buff and I just adjusted it. Same thing with items and purple gear. So what we will start out with today is we will start. I don't know what I will have in this video. We'll probably do like one thing at a time. Like we'll do creating items, creating NPCs, creating pets, creating mounts, stuff like that. Um, but what we will do is when we're creating items, um, I'll be doing everything at once. So when I say an item, I'm talking about a normal item. I will show you how to create a quest item. I will show you how to make a purple gear. I will show you how to make purple rings. All of a, the all types of items I'll be doing in one video. Just so I don't have multiple videos, items of purple gear, creating items like a ring, creating items like a quest item. No. So for item, there's only for well for majority of item, there's only to when creating items, the majority, Jesus Christ. For the most part, when you're creating an item, you're only going to be editing two files primarily, unless it is a purple item or it's a piece of gear. It'll be item and item description. Item description or any other description file is the files that is, that have the names in them. So I'm I'm going to do everything how I would normally do in my server, so that you can see exactly how I do it, and you can mimic it. So you like having them side by side, so I can see. Um, I usually scroll down to the bottom and that's when I start adding things. Uh, so today we will start with, we're going to start with a basic item. Um, when I mean basic item, I'm talking about an item that's not going to be used for anything, more more used for like exchanging. Like when uh, most servers, when they give purple rings and ambulance, do exchange like residual shadows. Or for purple gear, sometimes they, they make up an item to be exchanged that might drop in the cave where they get from quests, like a... Uh, Bloodstain chips for, for uh, PRC gear. So we're gonna find a random item that I know is didn't use for anything. It's just a useless item so that we can copy it and just change the name. And if we want to change if it can be traded or not, so that we use the least work amount as possible. So, well, here is a quest item. I like that. So we'll start with first. We're starting about a normal item that's not used for anything. We will just say the the, 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 uh, the key, uh, SSC key. Da, 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 da. We'll do secret. Well, we're gonna do this catacomb. Boom. Now we'll do fragment. So I'm just gonna copy that. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really have to copy this because this is the uh, description one. But I'm gonna copy this line. And always when I'm editing new items or a new set of items, I like to get the top line so that I can see what each column means and so I don't have to scroll up and down every time. Um, I do that for majority of files. Obviously, item description, I'm not, I don't because I know it's only three columns that I edit. The item ID, we're going to start with items at 20. It doesn't have to be in a row. Um, you can start whatever you can skip around. Uh, most files... You can do like that, like NPC files, you don't have to be in order. We're going to call this uh, test item one, just because. So you copy, this will be the name of an item, use description of item used for testing. Boom. 
All right, so let's see what's uh what's configured here. So nothing. It's an item that's not gonna be used for anything. Um, usually those type of items I like to make blue. So it's gonna be number two. Um, can be traded. This will be a normal item. So we'll put. Yeah, we can trade it. Sure. Uh huh. Can bank it. Yeah, of course. Sell no. Auction house no. Delete no. Item. So here, I don't think I explained this in my previous video. Item countable as if it, this is this means can it stack? Yes or no? This means uh, if you drop it, how many come in one stack? So like if this is a quest item or item for a set, you probably just wanted to drop one at a time. Max count, how many total can be in the stack? 250 is the highest you can do. Even if you put 500, it won't stack more than 250. Or I think it's 200. No, I think it's 250. Consumable, no, it's just a normal item. Task item. So this, um, we're gonna, we're just gonna copy it. This is gonna be a normal item for like exchange. This is gonna be an actual quest item. The only difference between uh, these two types of items would be that, that line we just saw there, which uh, emphasizes if it's a quest item or not. Since uh, this one won't be, we'll put, we leave it blank. You can put these, you can put it as zero or blank and both means the same thing. Uh, most of the time I just leave it blank. So uh, I'm not gonna change the icons or anything like that. But I will show something that, I will show one thing later on. So we, so far we got two items we're making. We're making a normal item that like you can use for anything. Uh, like if you wanted to drop from a cave or something that can be exchanged for a quest or whatever. And then we have a quest item. When I mean by quest item, I'm referring to an item that will drop from a mob that is needed in a quest. Like how we were explaining um, MDV dailies, how there's like six quests and each one you have to drop a, a item from a mob. That is what this example will be for. So we're gonna change the numbers up, 20,000, 20,001, boom, boom. And then I'll copy this real quick. Put a one, this will be quest item. And when we get into the quest video, the task video, we will be using this. But right now I'm just gonna create everything that I will need for all my videos. So I don't gotta keep going in and out and I can show you how to create the different types of items. Uh, item used for quests. We'll just say for quests. Okay, so we got a normal item and a quest item. Um, next, we will do. Let's do some. Let's do purple. Let's do a, let's do a piece of gear, purple gear. So, uh, what is it? What is the, the lose? What is the level 50 set called? Sun Chase. Boom. So, we're just going to look for anyone. Eight, eight, eight. Well, I'm going to make a full set. So, one, eight, 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 two, eight, ninety three. This is exactly how I learned to make my gear. We copied uh, what we're going to use for a full set of one class. Um, when you're making a gear, the the items, the only thing that that, that would uh, decipher what class it is is this party one that I've said before. So for assassin, it's two. Um, if we're looking at a monk item, so we're going to go to eight eight one. It'll be three. Wizard is one. Uh. Fairy is three, Tamer is four. So well, we're just gonna be making one class um, because that's all you will. That's all you really will have to change. And we're gonna change up the numbers. So we will just continue in order. And an easy way to so you don't gotta type out all the time is if you write two numbers in and then drag it and boom, auto copies. I like doing that because I'm lazy. Uh, okay. Uh, we will do what we're gonna name it the savage ass armor. Oh, this is a uh, yeah, level 58. So this is savage ass armor Savage ass Was that arm guard level 53 
and I get real lazy too. So all I do is so what I do is I paste shit and I just change the last word. I, I get when you're making uh, one or two sets for five different classes and you got six items per class. Whew, that's mad. Nope. I do as least work as I can. I do as much copy as I can. Uh, cuff, knee pad, 56 is about. So we're going to copy that, throw that in here. And for gear, you just leave the description blank. Um, so we'll change this to 78, 73, 75, 72, 74, 76, so that the gear is level 70s. Uh, equip level, we will make the same thing. And so when you're making purple gear, um, because purple is this, is is isn't a color that you would choose with these numbers, well, technically it's, well, so purple is not a color that you would choose. Like it goes one through six, six being platinum. Purple is it becomes its own color when you when you add it to the item suit uh, file. So, but what these numbers do is the higher the number, the more by default the de the defense will be, the HP percent when you com combine, and the elemental the default stats will be. So, we'll make them six just because default attributes now this this is referring to the attribute line that you'll create for each piece of gear um we'll get into a step we'll, we'll we'll get into the attributes in a separate video when we're making purple gear but for now just for because we're going over items um we will just put in a random number and these the attributes refer to you know how much dodge the item will have how much hp or how much vitality, dexterity, intelligence, dodge, crit strike, elemental, like extra elemental. Um, okay, so we're going on. So it's purple gear. So I don't like, I'm just doing it at zero just because even though it's just going to be me logging on to the server. Uh, shop, of course not. Of course not. Drop. So even if your item gear drops in, um, drops in the cave you can you don't have to put it as a one you can leave it as a zero i usually just ignore it and delete of course not why would i want to delete my purple gear ken smith yes because we're going to combine it uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh. we'll change this again to the 70s 70. i'm not sh exactly sure what this uh column is referring to but i just make the numbers match up 76 and i'll leave the the visual the icons and um 3d look how it is so there's a set we have a normal item we have a quest item we have a set let's make some uh, rings and amulets we'll make normal rings and amulets like how when i say normal i'm referring to like the fire phoenix rings and amulets the red dream rings and amulets and then we'll make purple ones the only difference is those is that you won't add a uh, the normal rings into the attribute list you will uh, add the stats here and i want to say in one of these columns here somewhere in here i think somewhere in one of these columns right here here we go right there so in that column equipment action yeah this is that's the only difference between the purple rings and, and a, a normal ring and amulet is that you won't add an attribute line and you'll put the stats that you want it to have in this line so let's uh copy real quick let's go find a, a ring man i'm hungry so there's a normal ring oh why am i doing that here Shit. so let me put these side by side again so six one two seven this will be a normal ring i'm not going to do rings and amulets they're the same thing the only difference is will be this so rings are nine and then amulets i believe are ten yeah, so that's the only difference between making a ring and an amulet is just changing that number. That's it. Completely it. Um, and then we're going to look for a purple ring. So I'll just make a copy. Don't. And we will do. Man, I should have. Let me. Like I said, I'm lazy. So I'm not trying to write shit out. Uh, Savage. Golden ring, we'll call it a golden ring. Savage purple ring. 
Oh, actually, I got to make two rings because it's going to be a pair to get bonuses. So 20, 0, 10, Savage Purple Ring 1, Savage Purple Ring 2. All right, so we got Purple Ring 1, Purple Ring 2. I'm working, so that's why like, I'm cutting in and out. Um, so we'll copy these over here. Purple stuff, I leave a blank. Uh, I like I'm kind of organized. So I don't like having everything up up like this. I kind of like separating just it's just I get OC with it Okay, so for the rings and that for the golden ring, whatever default color. It's gonna be golden Um, this is gonna be a purple. So We'll do six and six even though I'm putting all the stats so that doesn't really matter But since this is gonna be a golden ring no attribute uh, since these are gonna be two purple rings um gonna put Clear that. I'm gonna put at the attribute number in. Uh, this is a golden ring. I don't care if people would trade it or not. But see, and also, so like, I got purple stuff, so I just like to copy and paste. Because my purple stuff doesn't, I don't like uh, them to sell or trade the purple stuff. Time limit. Oh, these are temporary ones. So I'm deleting time. If you put a time limit here, that's uh, how long till that item expires, and this is in seconds. So no time limit, obviously. Okay, so this these two are purple, but this is gonna be the golden one. So I'm gonna add some crazy shit. So we're gonna do add a hundred thousand HP, add move speed five, five hundred percent move speed, add critical damage. Or what are some of the cool ones? Critical damage. Fuck, I don't remember the top of my head. Was it critical damage right? Delta, delta. Fuck it. Let me copy some cool shit. Boom. Add that, we'll do 90% of five. I don't know what that is, water or whatever. Or is like HP recovery. I, I don't care, this is just, this is just for example, so it doesn't matter. Um, and you can have inf as many stats on this shit if you want. If you want 40 fucking stats, you can have 40 fucking stats. And that's it, you will change the icon, but boom, that's it for, 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 well that's it for creating it in the item. The only thing left, uh, for purple rings and amulets is to edit the attribute list and add them into the item suit uh, file The golden one is completely done as <laughs> it's completely done boom um, Let's see